Breaking. Lakers emergency signing. Who can replace Christian Wood? Hey guys, this is Guillermi, and today I have a bombshell for you. Christian Wood's sudden departure has left the Lakers in a critical situation. They need a replacement now, and the future of the season is at stake. Who will be the new star to take over this crucial position? Don't miss out on this because the answer could change everything for the Lakers. Subscribe and stay on top of all the news. And let's get to today's news, but first, just check if you're already subscribed to the channel because the next videos will be a series of content that will help you stay informed about everything related to the Lakers. Turn on the notification bell and select the all option. After that, we'll send you everything breaking that comes out behind the scenes of the Lakers. Lakers fans, we have a goal of 90 likes to hit on this video. In the last video, we hit the goal in less than an hour. Prove that you are Lakers fans and leave the like so we can hit this goal soon. Today, we have some worrying news to discuss about the Lakers team. Center Christian Wood has undergone another surgery on his left knee. Unfortunately, this is not the first time he has faced this problem. It seems to be a repeat of a situation that already arose at the end of last season. The team has stated that he will be reevaluated in about eight weeks, which means he should miss all of training camp, the preseason, and the beginning of the regular season. If the injury continues, which is a real possibility considering the problem may not have been fully resolved, he could be out for even longer. This brings us to an important question, the depth at center. Currently, the Lakers have Anthony Davis as the starter and Jackson Hayes as the backup, but there is no one else available behind them. They have Colin Castleton, who is on a two-way contract and could potentially step into the third center role. However, Castleton has played very little in the NBA thus far and may not be ready to take on that responsibility with the maturity needed. Given this, the Lakers may need to explore other options on the market. One possibility would be to trade Christian Wood for another center, or even consider clearing Wood's salary through a trade and looking for a new center in free agency. We'll take a closer look at these options and discuss the best strategies for the team. Stay tuned as we analyze these options and consider the best path forward to ensure the Lakers have the depth they need at center. The Lakers face a significant depth challenge at center. Jackson Hayes alone will not be enough to cover for Christian Wood, especially if Wood is out for more than eight weeks, which I believe is highly likely. This puts us in a serious situation because if the injury persists, as it appears to be the case, the recovery could extend beyond eight or even ten weeks, possibly into late November or early December. If this scenario plays out, the Lakers will need to consider alternatives to moving forward without Christian Wood. While I understand that the idea of releasing Wood may not be the most appealing, especially with a limited market, the team should explore both the trade and free agent markets to find viable solutions. In the trade market, there is no need to complicate negotiations with complex transactions involving multiple teams or players. A more straightforward approach would be to trade Christian Wood and his minimum contract for a different player, also on a minimum contract. While the options are limited, one player who could be interesting is Duop Reith. He's a 27-year-old rookie who had a solid and underrated season last season, averaging around 9.1 points and 4 rebounds per game. While you may not have heard much about him yet, Reith could be a valuable addition to the Lakers, providing a promising alternative while Wood recovers. All in all, the Lakers have a few avenues to consider and should act quickly to ensure their team has the depth it needs to confidently go into the season. Duop Reith had a standout last season, especially on defense with nearly a block per game and an excellent three-point shooting performance for a player at his position. Considering the Lakers don't have many centers who can shoot well from outside, and especially with the limited options available on the market, Reith presents a viable alternative. At 28, Reith may not be a perfect fit for a rebuilding team like the Portland Trailblazers, who are expected to be in a rebuilding phase for a few more years. So it's possible that Portland would be open to trading Reith. For the Lakers, an interesting proposition would be to offer a second-round draft pick. I believe that would be enough to make the trade happen, since Reith's market value is not very high at the moment, and the Blazers probably wouldn't ask for much more. Despite a less-than-stellar rookie season, Reith can still provide a lot of value as a backup or even as a third center. He played around 18 minutes per game last season and put up decent numbers in terms of overall production. Given the Lakers' current situation, I believe he could be a good replacement for Christian Wood, providing a practical solution while Wood recovers from his injury. In short, if the Lakers are looking for a center who can help fill the void left by Wood, 
Duop Wreath could be an attractive and affordable option. While Duop Wreath doesn't have the impressive 38% three-point shooting that Christian Wood does, he is still a viable option for the Lakers. Wood underperformed last season, shooting less than 31% from three-point range. In comparison, Wreath shot 35.9% on 3.6 attempts per game, which equates to more than seven shots per 36 minutes. Not many centers can shoot that many three-point shots and still maintain such a high percentage. The Lakers already have a more traditional center in Jackson Hayes, so they may be looking for a third center with a different profile, one that aligns with what Wood brought to the team. If they decide to trade Wood or move on from him, it will be important to replace his role with someone who has a similar mindset and skill set, and Duop Reith could be that person. Reith stands out as a solid three-point shooter and an efficient all-around scoring center, averaging over 18 points per 36 minutes. He has the ability to score from all levels, near the rim, from mid-range, and of course from the three-point line. While he is not yet widely known, he is a promising offensive talent with potential to grow. In short, if the Lakers are looking for someone who can fill a similar role to Christian Wood, Duop Reith could be an attractive option with potential to contribute to the team. While Duop Reith isn't a great rebounder, averaging just 7.5 rebounds per 36 minutes, that's partly due to his play style that's more away from the rim. However, he can still be a decent rebounder, using his 6'11 and roughly 250 LBs. Reith also has the ability to block shots on occasion, and while he's not a great rim protector, his decent arm span allows him to contest shots around the rim. He was rated average on defense last season, but it's important to consider the context in which he played. The Portland Trailblazers underperformed both offensively and defensively, and the team's defense as a whole didn't exactly stand out. Despite this, Duop Reith, with his athletic frame and considerable size, shouldn't be viewed as a huge liability on defense. I believe he still has value to be explored. When looking at what Reith can bring on offense, his offensive ability seems underrated. He's a versatile player who can contribute significantly to the team. This makes Duop Reith a very attractive and realistic trade target for the Lakers. In order to acquire Reith, the Lakers could trade Christian Wood and potentially offer a second-round pick or two to complete the deal with Portland. Considering Portland already has players like DeAndre Ayton and Robert Williams, it's possible they'd be willing to accept a couple of second-round picks, making the trade a good value for the Lakers. Another strategy the Lakers could consider would be to clear Christian Wood's salary, which would open up cap space for a free agent signing. If the team is looking for a more experienced option, one of the few players available is Bismack Biombo. Despite being around 32 years old and experiencing a decline in athleticism, Biombo could still bring some value to the team. It's important to note, however, that Biombo isn't known for his three-point shooting ability, and he likely won't be a threat from distance. His main contribution would come in the form of points, rebounds, and the occasional block. Biombo's true value lies in his ability to protect the rim and grab rebounds. Even if he isn't the dominant rim protector he was early in his career, he can still record 1 to 2 blocks per game and approximately 10 to 12 rebounds per game if he gets around 36 minutes on the court. In a more limited situation, playing between 10 and 15 minutes per game, he could add between 2 to 5 points, 5 to 7 rebounds, and maybe a block or two. Biombo has a storied 12-year NBA career and could provide short-term production as a backup center for the Lakers. However, in order to do so, the Lakers would need to trade Christian Wood. They don't have enough cap space to simply release Wood and sign Biombo or another non-guaranteed player, so they would need to find a way to trade Wood and free up roster space to make such a move possible. If the Lakers choose not to pursue the strategy of releasing Christian Wood's salary, they still have other options. The main option would be to trade Wood for a different player or consider signing a player to a two-way contract. Currently, all three two-way contract spots are filled, but those contracts are fully non-guaranteed. This means they could release one of those contracts and make room for a different center. While the options on the market are limited, especially after Omar Yemen signed with a Turkish team, there is one interesting alternative worth considering. Olivier Saar he is the older brother of 2024 NBA Draft second overall pick Alex Saar. Olivier Saar has had a relatively modest NBA career thus far. He went undrafted in the 2021 NBA Draft and has only played for the Oklahoma City Thunder thus far. 
In 46 NBA games, he has played a supporting role, averaging 7 points, 4 rebounds, and about 1 block per game in the 2021-22 season. However, his numbers are promising he shot 57.4% overall and 44.8% from 3, which shows good versatility. Sar has shown that he can be more than a traditional big man like Bismack Biyombo or Omar Yemen, offering valuable potential in terms of outside shooting and overall offensive ability. Considering these options, the Lakers would have an opportunity to bolster their depth at center while looking for creative solutions to fill the void left by Christian Wood. Given the current situation, I think Olivier Saar could add more to the Lakers roster than Colin Castleton. Castleton hasn't had much of an opportunity to show off his skills in the NBA so far, and his contributions have been minor compared to Saar's. Bringing Saar into the Lakers training camp seems like a great idea. Even if his main role is to compete and help players like Clean Thony Early and Jackson Hayes develop into more important roles next season, that would be a huge benefit. And if necessary, he could replace a player like Catton or Armel Taylor on a two-way contract. Saar has been impressive outside of the NBA. In the G League, he's averaging over 12 points and 10 rebounds per game, with a recent season highlighting a 13.3 rebound per game average and 40.8% three-point shooting. While he's not exceptional in any one area, he's versatile and can provide value in different areas of the game, such as being a scoring threat, a solid three-point shooter, and a decent rim protector. However, it's important to be realistic about what to expect from Saar. He shouldn't be considered a reliable option to play 20-plus minutes per game and maintain the same level of effectiveness every 36 minutes. Saar should be used strategically rather than as the team's primary center. There's room for him to surprise and develop beyond the expectation of being a third option. But for now, that's the most realistic expectation. Still, Saar could represent an upgrade over Colin Castleton and force Jackson Hayes into a more prominent role, especially if the Lakers are without Christian Wood. Signing Saar to a two-way contract would allow the Lakers to keep Wood regardless of his future intentions, as the 15-man roster is fully booked with guaranteed contracts. Given the team's proximity to the salary cap, it's unlikely that the team will release any players and go through a complicated process of reshaping its roster. Given that Christian Wood is dealing with an injury that plagued him late last season and required two surgeries, I would consider it prudent to pursue a trade. The Lakers simply cannot afford to have more injury-prone players on their roster. Christian Wood has been generally healthy throughout his career, but he is now starting to show some injury proneness, especially with the recurrence of his knee injury. This could significantly impact his performance throughout the season, and there is a real possibility that he could struggle even if he does make it back in time. Given this situation, the idea of letting Wood go, whether through a trade or even temporarily replacing him with a two-way contract, doesn't seem so bad to me. The Lakers urgently need to add depth at center. It's not feasible for the team to go 8-12 weeks without Christian Wood or a third center, especially since I don't see Colin Castleton filling that role effectively. Therefore, the Lakers need to seriously consider a trade or signing a two-way player to strengthen that position. Some options that I see as interesting include the possibility of a straight trade, sending Christian Wood to bring a player in return. Another alternative would be to clear Wood's salary and sign a veteran like Bismack Biombo, who, despite his decline, can still provide some contribution, especially on defense and rebounding. Additionally, signing a two-way eligible center like Olivier Saar could be a good move. Saar has shown potential in the G League and could bring a valuable combination of skills, even if he's not a permanent solution. In short, the Lakers need to carefully evaluate their options and take action to ensure they have the necessary depth on the roster to get through the season. Thank you for watching this far. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to continue receiving the next content. Access our playlist now that will appear on the screen or in the pinned comment with all the latest news and updates from the Lakers. And stay up to date with the behind the scenes, highlights, last minute controversies, transfers, everything about the Los Angeles Lakers team. Until the next video.